Camouflage, marching, push-ups, jumping jacks. Looks a lot like boot camp, but it's actually an Army Reserve enrichment camp held today at Mariana's Trekking. Here we try to make it easy for the kids to just have a taste of what, uh, what we go through, what their parents go through as well. The camp is hosted by the Army Reserve for Child and School Youth Services and Operation Military Kid. According to coordinator Tara Dixon, there are over 300 youth on Saipan with military parents. I think a big thing that they gain from this is having the connection of saying, oh, you're also in the Army Reserve. And so they make that connection with each other and realize they're not alone. So they kind of understand what it's like if their parent leaves for a long time. They have those friendships and somebody they can connect with. Reina de Leon Guerrero knows exactly how it feels to have a parent who's off fighting in a war zone. Where did he go? He went to Iraq and he went to Hawaii. How long was he gone for? Are you done? He went for one year. Eight-year-old Sebastian Camacho has experienced life with both parents deployed. My dad was gone for months. My mom was gone for almost a year. Kiki Yoshimoto is the project coordinator for Hawaii's Operation Military Kid. We are a project um, dedicated to provide support services to military youth affected by deployment. According to Yoshimoto, military kids face unique challenges. Just the thought of, um, of possibly having their parent deploy for one month up to one year, I mean, just the stressors that that brings in itself, a lot of um, problems with communication, just um, sharing their, you know, expressing their emotions. Um, making and keeping friends. That's why the camp also focuses on lessons in life skills, like dealing with anger, frustration, and loneliness. Communication, problem solving, um, teamwork, family building, anything that can um, help them sustain. Ten soldiers volunteered to work with the kids today. Sometimes they have parents that are being deployed and they don't know who to turn to. Sergeant Jonas Barcinas was one of them. This is a, a very, very good you know, activity and a, a program for our kids, especially that are going through you know, uh, some hard times, especially when their parents are not going But at the end of the day, it's still just camp, and the kids just want to have some fun in the sun. We're having fun.